Hey, what's happening, man? It's your boy, Papa Duck, man. At least I'm tired of here right now. I just got them cutting the grass. Um, I want to do this video right quick, man. Uh, last night, shout out to y'all who checked into the podcast, what we do every Wednesday at 8.30, and we did talk about voting. And there was a lot of people on us saying what they had to say. Like, you know, and it's, it's all love. It's good. That's why I put that platform together so we can, you know, put out information. But this is my thing. When we speak about the voting, y'all know I have an issue with black folk voting because it never changes nothing. And y'all just want us to, I guess y'all just want us to just keep going through the same thing. Like, come on, man. I heard somebody on there saying, well, you know, I'm gonna vote because such and such went through this and went through that in order for us to vote. I don't give a damn who went through what. Why is it that, and this is not to be racist, why is it that Black folks always got to fight, scribe, die, and everything else to fit in with a group of people who don't want you. You explain to me that, but you want us to keep playing that game, keep voting, and keep thinking that we're going to change something. And it's been over 400 years, ain't that changed? The older people, too. We need to be mindful of the older people because the older you are, the more brainwashed you are. Like, let's, be, let's call a spade a spade. Let's be honest. Like, they don't understand really what's going on. We got way more technology now than they had back then. We got more more ways or more sources to get information. Like, I'm tired of us playing this game, cuz. And like I say, that ain't to be racist, cuz it's a lot of white folk that they just wanna live, just like black folk just wanna live. Don't give a damn what color you is. I'm talking about the ones who are racist, the ones who don't want blacks here or wanna see us, you know, or whatever the case may be. We keep playing this race thing, but I'm telling you, the more, the deeper you get into this, the more you will see it's the ones at the top that's pushing all the buttons. They just got us on the bottom, on the bottom tier, fighting against each other, keeping us busy. I'm telling y'all, man, that voting, it ain't gonna change nothing. You steady playing their game. Why is it that you steady playing their game? Can't nobody tell me what voting did for us. Yeah, they gonna say, oh, they gonna say, oh, yeah, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and as soon as they get in the chair, you don't, see, you don't hear nothing about none of that stuff. I keep telling you, man, you don't have enough money to even see the effects of voting. Why is it that rich people pay no taxes and poor people do? When I sit back and I think about it and I hate to say this, but I'm finna call this, I'm just gonna say it. I see that some people need, some people literally are meant to be led off the cliff. You can't be that crazy. You can't be that, like, come on, bro. You mean to tell me? We steady fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. These people steady leading. And we participating in a game that doesn't want us, a game that wasn't designed for us. And at some degree, like I told y'all, ain't got nothing to do with no color. Cause when you look at the top of the tiers, it's all about control. And I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna show you just who y'all enemy really is. It ain't me. And it ain't you. It's the people you never heard of. The real gangsters. The ones who who, who hurt people by the, by the millions and get away with it. The ones who built this whole system. It is a system. Do you know what a system is, man? It's systematic. I've done videos on that. This Systems are designed for a specific outcome. This is why we keep getting the same outcome because we keep participating in the same damn system. Like how crazy can you be? The more we go to school, the more we get indoctrinated. School wasn't created for education. These people ain't finna teach us nothing. Most of us don't even know how to grow an orange, orange tree. Don't know how to grow nothing. Don't know how important it is to walk out and get in the sun, exercise and all this stuff. The main important things of life we have no clue about. All they teach us about is uh, technology, phones and, you know, clothes and just stuff that... Just, it don't help us, like, at the end of the day. And it's crazy when I see these folk, oh, we you know, we gonna, <laughs> I just look back and be like, you know what, man? Y'all just don't know no better. You just don't know no better. And when people try to put you on game, like I tell you, man, go research it for yourself. The longer we keep playing this whole game and, you know, putting ourselves in a the, in the position to be handled, we're going to get handled the same way over and over. When you put your... See, first of all, you got to understand. You, 
You got to be weary of these words. Our country. Our freedom. My president. Sent your president. Sent your country. Words of spells. I keep telling y'all. All you're doing is putting spells on yourself. This ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with you or, or me. And if you can't see that by now, then I'm sorry, bro. You may not get it. But for y'all who do, I love y'all. I can't say it enough. But I'm telling you, man, that voting thing, especially for blacks, it ain't gonna help us. The more you go to them for voting, for anything, you're basically saying, lead me. Lead me off the cliff. I need your help. That's basically what you're saying. We don't need no government. Especially a, a government that's going to deprive us. A government that's going to control us. Because that's all it's about. Control. Why you think? Oh, my God. I, I Honestly, man. Man, I love all y'all, man. I do. But the reason how, how, how I can stay sane and how I can still not just, you know, go crazy. Because I understand so I can stand up. I'm over it. I overstand. Not understand. I overstand. And a lot of y'all do too. Y'all just want to play that game, man. A lot of y'all just so vulnerable. Y'all feel like y'all need to be governed and y'all need to be told what to do. No, you don't. But anyway, man, I ain't want to make this video that long. It just blow my mind. How we voting for people we never met. Why are we voting in the first place? I keep telling y'all, man, them president, they puppets. They don't run nothing. They just the face that you see. You do not see the people who's really running the show. You don't see them. With all they laws of power, man. You being controlled by every angle. You don't even know where it's coming from, so you can't, you can't address it. Why you think they got rid of kings and royalties and all that? When you read back, like back in the days, oh, the king this and the, the princess this, and prince this king that. You know why? Because you was able to see the people that's oppressing you. They go to the king, they go to the kingdom, they go to the prince, they go to the queen. You know what they did? They got rid of that. They got rid of the royal shit. And they brought for, they brought forth um government. So now you're being ruled in so many different entities. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know where it is. Oh, driving is a privilege. No, it ain't. Oh, you know, we supposed to eat this. Oh, go to the grocery store. We can't pick our own food. We can't grow our own food. I told y'all they got laws. You can't even grow a garden in your front yard. You can't even grow a garden. It's, it's, it's so crazy that the more that they can, the more we go to school, get brainwashed, the more they can control us. We just like cattle sitting in the middle of the pasture, just looking around. Ooh, we like cows. We don't know where to go. We go with we, we go with the herd. I told y'all individualism and collectivism. We go with the with the herd, the group. That's why I love y'all, man. The ones who really can see through the bull. The ones who can see through the crap. The ones who can really see what's going on. The ones that just got it in them. It's in them. I keep telling y'all, man. Even with the Bible, man. Why is it that we always have to, when somebody do something to us, it's told that we turn the other cheek. We don't supposed to fight, bite, let the Lord handle it. Bro, you running out of cheeks, bro. You ain't got but two cheeks, bro. How many times you gonna turn your cheeks, bro? Like stuff just don't make, it just, it, 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 it just don't come, as, it don't, it's it no common sense. Use your brain, man, think for one second. Use your brain. It's like, now I understand why physical slavery don't exist no more because there was a lot of slavery bucking leaving the plantation they just don't tell you about that they want you to feel like it was just a couple of, you know it was a lot of them and what they was doing was hanging them and you know castrating them and doing all kind of stuff to them that's why they came up with don't physically uh abuse your 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 uh your slave that's what uh, that's where livestock come from we was livestock we was bred like cattle they bred and sold us. That's where the word MF come from. I told y'all. They used to take the biggest, huskiest black man. And, and, and from his mama, what they do, they put a bag over his head, put a bag over his mama's head and make him have sex. 
That's where the word MF come from. Mother, you know what? But anyway, the Willie Lynch letter, man, he taught slave owners to get you here. And to this day, the Willie Lynch letter is in effect. To this day. Yeah. Like Wilder said, to this day. Yeah. And all I'm trying to tell you, man, I'm your, bro, I'm not your enemy. That's another indication that when the truth come across your ears, you so rejected, like you so rejective of it, like you, like I'm telling you something. That you can't think for yourself and figure out. You ain't that crazy, bro. You play crazy. Y'all ain't that crazy. I just don't believe that. And every time a man say something or a woman say something, and if you feel as though it's some truth to it or not, research it. Pick up a Black's Law Dictionary. Break down the word believe. Believe. Break the word down. Start breaking these words down. Start teaching these words to your um, your kids. I don't know, man. I don't know, but I'm telling y'all, man, we we got some stuff cooking up, and we gonna we gonna really put some stuff together. Because I, you know, if you don't want to wake up or you don't want to see what's going on, or you don't care to see what's going on. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. But we finna start dividing this up, man, cause it's just too much energy, man. Too much energy, man. Black folks going to vote. Whoop de woo. They play the same game on us every election. Let's get the blacks. Why you think they target us? Huh? They target blacks. Oh, we want the black vote. Man, your vote don't count, man. How is it that from the from the time presidency was in effect to the day, you know, crime rate stopped? Poverty. Did y'all know anything about the Humda Act? When I did a video on the Humda Act, which was where uh, bankers and, and creditors had, they, they was trying to stop them from giving information to the, the, the people who they lend the money to, people who come in and don't want to get loans for houses. And it showed that uh, blacks was denied, even though they was more credible than whites. And this is not to be prejudiced again. It showed that, but with that Humda Act passed, they don't have to give up that information no more. So you will not know how biased it is or how prejudiced it is or whatever. And I'm, it's just these same entities, man, y'all spend your time and go vote for, for what, man? You that scared? You can't miss nothing you never had, black man, white man, or whoever else. When I break down this top tier, and I'm going to show you, it has nothing to do with color to a certain degree. Because y'all will perish too. Yes. And we don't come together as a people. It's over with for all of us. Because death, 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 death is not prejudice. Death don't care what color you are. If we don't come together as a people, we in trouble, man. We are in deep trouble. That's why I'm telling y'all, black folk, we need to get it together, man. We need to stop looking as if we don't know what's going on, turning a blind eye on the situation, turning the other cheek. Come on, man. You're going to spend your whole life ducking and dodging something you know, and your children going to go through the same thing. So what you going to say about your grandkids? You ain't did nothing. You ain't did nothing. If it didn't work for our mamas and it ain't work for us, you think it's gonna work for them? You can't be that crazy. I'm not buying it. You can't be. You just can't be that crazy, man. You can't be. Some people and other other nationalities can look at us as look at us as black folks and see how we participate in the BS and say to themselves, I, I see why y'all being controlled. Y'all, y'all participating in it. What is what is that? That's called uh sovereignty. Um I can't I can't think of the name of, but it's like so, servant so, sovereignty. Basically where you uh basically where you uh what I'm trying to say is you participating 
into your own demise. You are participating or being a part of your, your conditioning. Crazy, man. Hey, anyway, every Wednesday, man, we do the podcast each and every Wednesday. Shouts out to everybody who um, tuned in. Um, for those who, who's hit me back about the credit, want to help build your credit, man. I'm telling you, man, this is this is this is a company to go with. No BS. In order to get right, get your credit right, man, so you can purchase some things. And I'm talking about no no. To my assets, man, to, to own some stuff, man. Text credit to the number 754 755 9774. I'm gonna put it on the bottom of the description. And, um, shots out to everybody who has, um, who's enrolled in. I'm gonna have those testimonies for y'all just to show y'all. Look, man, I got with a group of people who, who want to help people, not take money from them, who want to help people. Because I tell y'all, when you don't know something about something, you will get taken advantage of. And I don't stand for that. Period. So if you want to get your credit right, these are the people to do it, man. 754-755-9774. I'm out, man.